Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Strata Deep. And, uh, I don't know what it is with me in play, uh, recording video games. Every time I go and hit the record button, it starts raining. And, uh, yeah, it was a, a nasty storm. I started doing this, and I thought, oh, it's just gonna be a nice rainy day. And then the wind picked up, and it's like, ah. And I, I swear to God, it was ten minutes. But anyways, uh, I decided to redo the, the dock here, and thank God for the the... Uh, material refunding. I was only able to get three sticks back instead of the four, but that did save a lot of resources. So what I've done is I've just basically done this. So I, because I have the motor, I can actually back up so I can drive in, drive out, and go with that. Uh, what I want to do today is I want to get the house finished. Uh, unfortunately, I've counted the logs I have on the, the island here. There's not really enough to completely finish the house. So we're going to go over to that island over there. I've already had a look at it while it was raining. There's lots of trees there. So we're going to go cut that, cut down all the trees on the island before we cut these ones down. And get a little bit of expansion going. Uh, eventually I do want to get this expanded a little bit. Uh, I was going to fill this up while it was raining, but the waves are so high. This thing was just going up and down, up and down. And I don't know why this defaults to a lower position. I thought about taking it off because I think that might be causing my my issue but uh, I'm not too sure okay let's go grab a few more crates and then we'll head off I was actually pretty close in the building I can't quite walk off and on but close enough I'll take that one uh, take the flashlight out we'll figure out my inventory better and drop that on the floor because or on the ground because that's where all the flashlights are on this island <laughs> Speaking of which, and I think there's one over there by the, the farms. Uh, what's in here? There's, uh, we'll take the palm frond out, we'll pick that up. And we'll just go ahead and put this in the water still. Just because. And then I think there might be one over here I could take too. Because uh, the logs don't stack, you can only get one log per slot. But if I, have, I can carry six on the raft, and I can carry six on me, then that's an entire island. Uh, potatoes haven't grown, uh, but they're still alive. That's good. The the yucca hasn't grown back, unfortunately, but th these ones keep growing pretty good, so uh, I got a whole bunch in there. Yeah. I think we might be okay. Unless I got another one kicking around here somewhere. I'm not too sure. Like I thought I had the four there, but I must have taken them already. Uh, I might have another spare or two in here. Uh, that's a toolbox, that's corrugated sticks, fuel, spear gun, coconuts. You know, it wasn't until they actually gave us, until we started getting these crazy and didn't realize how much junk you pick up <laughs> while you play this game. Yeah, I think that's about it here. I think so. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, before I forget, let's go ahead and pick up the bed. Uh, yeah, just pushy and pick it up. And off we go. So we got fuel. Um, vitals are okay. I don't know what I do. I'm going to grab that ration just in case. That's going to be in the first aid kit. And now we can go. It is getting kind of late. I started recording as soon as the sun came up. And then it started raining. Whoa. Rocky water. All right, let's uh, get down here and off we go. Now I don't know why this thing is steel steers so terribly, but it is what it is. It's a lot better than that ye yellow raft, wherever that thing is. I love this music. You get out in the water and there's what is that, piccolo music. Some of these here from like Sea of Thieves or something. Oh, what did I hit? I hit something. I don't know. I've turned myself around. Uh, oh, I hit someone's yacht. Let's see if we could actually drift this thing around. Probably not. Anyway, uh, I'll meet you when I, when I get to the island eventually. Where's that gyrocopter? There it is. So it's going to be... I think it was that one. It doesn't matter. As long as it's got trees I can cut down, that's all that I care about. Alright, I shall meet there. Alright, well that didn't actually take very long at all. 
And I just took like a minute or so. And of course, I have been here, so we are good. I'm gonna drop hanker. I'm gonna shut that off. Used almost no fuel. It's beautiful. Uh, okay. No purple things. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta fill those up. But that's fine because I can fill those up while they're actually on there. So let's go ahead and drop these down. Uh, I'm gonna have to sleep, so drop that. I like how it drops on the ground. And I'm gonna start chopping, so. I shall see you when I'm done. Okay. Got it got everything I need. I got uh three six nine. Yeah, nine crates. It's uh twenty seven logs, which means twenty seven wall sections or twenty four roof sections or twenty four twenty seven, sorry. Uh you get the drift. Plus I think I counted uh thirteen logs back at home. Oh, Gotta watch out. Look behind me when I'm backing up. Now the question is, is that the way? I'm gonna find my way back home. There's trees over there, so that's not home, I don't think. Where is it? Yes, it is. I can see my house from here. That was actually something they changed too, is the distance you could actually see buildings. So it's gonna take a, a minute or so for me to get back, so and all. What I'll do is I'll get back. When I get back, I'll chop everything up and I'll bring it back for when we start building the house. Or finishing the house. Blah. <coughs> Day 54. I also came back here to check on the, the crops and the potatoes are ready. Which means another jug of fuel. Cool. Uh, now, I gotta start finding more of those containers. The jerry cans. Because I've only got the three. Because uh, I needed one to make the still and I think I needed one for the gyrocopter. I don't think I needed one for the motor, but yeah, so that's going to be the the next mission is to find more of those. Alright, so that does need fuel. Uh, I'm not going to use sticks, I'm going to use the plant fibers, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd just point that out. I'm definitely keeping an eye on the potatoes, making sure that those are going, so we have fuel for the, our, our toys. The only thing we actually have is our toys. Uh, again, uh, there's what should we do it when day 80 comes uh, as far as i know the plane still comes i have that's what it used to be uh 26 days do we try to get saved or do we stay here and keep on going we'll do a vote and i guess episode before day 80 arrives we'll decide what we do anyway uh, i'll be back and good morning and yes it is another day i am finally done uh I don't actually have any sticks on me. I filled up two boxes in there, and everything here has been cut up. Uh, basically, it took me the rest of the day. And I did some things to care of the potatoes there. They're fermented and all good. I did some watering of the crops, and uh, I've been thinking about the potato, potato plants here, or actually all of them. Uh, maybe this is what I'm going to use a corrugated for, is for these planters, because, yeah, these are definitely like double the water retention, so... Uh, probably best to use the, uh, use the corrugator for the planters instead of the, this, because it's crap, let's face it. And then when we were, when we were at the island getting the, the logs, I forgot to grab a couple of uh, yucca, yucca cuttings to replant those. But, yeah, we could, well, we could do that all in good time. It's not, not that I don't get enough of these young palms growing on this island as it is. Day 55. Like, I'm looking at two of them. One, two... Uh, there's probably a whole bunch everywhere, and these things grow back. I went through the whole island and heart took them all down. And the next day they were all back. The weeds, that just don't go away. Hey, it's free, free fuel, free water. Can't complain. Anyways, now it's time to clean up my inventory a little bit. Uh, we have... Actually, let's go fill this up. Top this up. I got another one that's full. So that is... Oh, don't tell me that wasted it. I think it did. Yeah. I think I lost it. I think I overfilled it. Oh, well. That's fine. Because I have two full containers full of it. That's good. Now, like I said, I just got to get more of those. And I'm good. Uh, what else do I need? I could put those away, we could put the spy glasses away somewhere. That's not how I put them away. We'll put them in the old toolbox here. Yeah, I need that. 
that can go away. Actually, I probably don't need that, but... Uh, actually, I want to see what the durability on these is. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you can see it at the very top. Probably not, but... Uh, yeah, the, the item itself actually shows a durability level. I never even noticed that until I started noticing the... the Jerry cans, yes. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, Alright, uh, I need sticks. I gotta get rid of these um, fibers I have on me. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wall off the, the second floor there. And then we're gonna put a, a big sort of triangular peak roof on it. I don't have room in there. I have room in there. Alright, good. You know what's funny? I have four antidotes made. And I have two more pippy enough to make a fifth ant antidote, and I haven't poisoned myself since. Go figure. This goes to show you, always have a first ki first aid kit in the house. That way you'll never hurt yourself. If you don't have a first aid kit in your, your house, well, Murphy's Law. Right. Anyway, uh, I'm actually going to leave those. Uh, what I'm going to do is start emptying all these out, like so. Do -do 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 -do. I said there's a take all button. Good thing they only stack it for. Oh, come on, I can carry more. Uh, I do have plenty of sticks. I still have a lot of trees that I can cut down on this island. Uh, so, we're probably going to have a deck down here. I might have to expand that pier a little bit. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the raft yet. Uh, and as you may have noticed, I have been using. I've been using Windows. And the reason why I've been using Windows is because it's cheaper. Go here, you got a, a wall is four sticks, but a window is only three. So I do the window. That's why I do that. You know, it's got to be cheap. Come on. You want to go on there? There you go. On there. Uh, I actually wanted to see if I could. Yeah, I want to see if I could get like an old patio going out here. And no, it's not going to work. Uh, that's a shame. I think you used to be able to do that, but uh, we used to also have uh, wooden posts in the game, too. Uh, to wood window, yeah. But yeah, uh, you actually had to place a post to be able to put a floor on, on top of it. And you actually, I think you could actually put those on the raft, and you could, the lantern, you could actually hang the lantern off of it. That was pretty cool. Okay, uh... Uh, you get the idea. I'm going to continue doing this, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here is the second floor. i got all the walls all up. So that's pretty good, so it definitely gives us a lot more room up here. Uh, one of the things I want to try to do is try to get all the, the other stations in here, like the uh, the loom and... Uh, what else is there? Oh, not there. I like the loom. The, I don't know about the brick station, because we got set that on fire. Actually, it's going to be in here. Uh, not the stove, obviously, but like the the loom. We might make the plank station just because. Uh, I don't know about the furnace. That's. I think that's for cooking the clay. But the tanning rack, for instance. Uh, maybe the brick station, too. I have no idea. But, so now we're here. So now let's see about getting the roof now. Originally, for some reason, I thought I had a 3x3, three three, but it's a 4x3. So, uh, yeah, old school, old school TV r aspect ratio right here. Uh, but, so I've been thinking about the roof. Now, the roof sections, we don't have a whole lot to work with. We have four pieces. Uh, there is a cap, but I was thinking about using the cap, basically having straight up, sort of pyramid style, but we might have to try to use these ones to try to make it work. So let's go ahead with the corner. Oh, put that here, and then what was it? it was, uh, yeah, so Z and X to rotate. And we'll put another one over here. Uh, yeah, the snapping sometimes you needs a little bit of patience, this game, because sometimes it doesn't want us to go where you want it to go. And sometimes you have to put something else on first. And I missed, totally missed the stairs. Okay. Nope. I think, I think I saw it. Nope. It's not there. 
that's fine because we get out of here and we'll put the middles up first. Put one there. And then another one over here. Like so. And I should be able to put the corner in. There we go. Just because it's got something to snap onto. Uh, like so. Let me get. Uh, it's getting dark. Let me get the rest of them up, and then I'll bring you back when the roof's done. Okay, I have the roof on. I actually had to go and cut down the last of the palm trees on this island because I ran out of sticks. Uh, I did make the table. I well, I was gonna make the table. Anyways. I was gonna make some furniture because I was trying to get this section up in here, and for some reason the caps wouldn't go side by side. So I just had the hell with it and put a couple of floor sections up there. But definitely a nice little area here. Uh, the reason why I bought the, made the table, which was very expensive 11 sticks and four lashings i know it doesn't sound expensive but it is in this game uh you can't stand on it and i was hoping i'd be able to stand on the table to actually get up there and do that but either way we have a table okay so now let's uh see if we can do something about sorry about that uh do something about the deck out here now the water still will have to move uh, the fire spit, I don't actually use this. Oh, yeah, I have to destroy the spit first. I was like trying to figure out what it was talking about. Oh, and then I have to break down the fire pit. And then I have to break down the campfire. And I don't get these stones back. Come on, that's garbage. Well, at least I got a couple of sticks out of the deal. All right, and that is empty, so we'll go ahead and take this apart. And at least I got the rocks back out of this one. Nice. Oh. All right, so uh, I am going to... I think what I might do... Go uh, this way here. No, not a floor. Uh, with foundation. I'm wondering if I want to do it this way or have like a. Let's do a wedge instead. Because I never actually used the wedges. We can do this. And with the wedges, you can actually rotate them. So, as you can see, that goes in like this, we go like that, and then it actually fills in the gap. So it gives you that triangular pattern. So it actually does work. Okay, then we'll go ahead and. Get these stairs out of the way. Oh yeah, something, speaking of stairs, that's actually something I've got to do upstairs. Uh, let's put some half walls around uh, the opening of the stairs so I don't fall down repetitively. And yes, it has happened uh, many a times. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well. I don't know what I made. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll need it eventually. Do another one of those, and another one of those. And then from here, probably just have the stairs coming right off the front here. So I pick up, clean up the ground here, and then I need more sticks. I think I have some sticks somewhere. I did. There they are. Okay, and go back to building stairs. Oh, did I drop my hammer? I did. I don't know how many times I've actually hit Q by mistake. And there we go. So let me get this finished up and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here's the porch. And now let's get some half walls in here. So we'll go here, we'll go to the walls, and then we go to the half wall. It's really, really cheap, and it actually snaps to the the edge of these wedge foundations, which I really like. Oops. That's the wrong button. Of course it is. See, this is like the only thing that we actually need to tarp for, and even then it's not even a tarp anymore, it's a cloth. So what is a tarp actually used for now? That is a good question. And I'm just putting these these sissy rails up for me because uh, if I come out here at night, I won't be able to uh, 
usually won't be able to see what I'm doing. Definitely gotta get more lanterns because I could put a hook here and a hook over there, put two lanterns on, or even on the outside of the house here. So, okay, there we go. There's our porch. I could even put like a little awning. You know, I, realistically, I could have had the second porch up there coming out too, but I'm not too worried about that. What I'm worried about is the fact that I can't, can't use the set of stairs properly. All right, so now let's go by, 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 back in here. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put some, some half walls here just to stop me from walking off the edge. And like so. It actually does add a little bit of decor around here too. You know what I mean? Just a little bit different than, you know, just a room. Alright, let's actually get some light in here. Let's uh, see if we can make a hook here somewhere. Yes, we can. Really expensive hook. Uh, what would the best place to put a light be? Right on top of the table. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, let me just... Jesus, this is garbage. Who made this thing? I did. Of course I did. Alright, yeah, let's grab a light. Grab you. And... I'm going to just drop you on the floor there so we can actually... pick you up by the handle. That's what I like about the dragon mechanics is... in this game is it actually picks it up... or drags it from wherever you grab. Uh, physics can be a little wonky, as you can see by the table, moving just by me putting this on top. Uh, there we go. We have some light up here. Nice. Oh, good, I can't bump the table. <laughs> That's a good thing. Alright, what else can I build up here? Uh, let's see if we get some chairs in here. Uh, I'm going to need a whole bunch of lashings. Let's see how many have I got. I'm gonna have to go make some. See, I mean, these things grow everywhere. It's like every time I jump, hop into the game, I'm spending like 10 minutes going around collecting these things, cleaning up the ground. All right, these are it's fine here. So, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of these. Anyways, uh, let me get a whole bunch of lashes to get it and I'll be right back. Has that grown yet? No. Any more taters? No. Okay, so yeah, I got myself a table and a couple of chairs down here. You know, just in case I have company, right? And uh, yeah, I was actually thinking of putting another wall here just to make it somewhat uniform. Well, I was going to say, why is it not showing up? Uh, that's just there for, you know, safety purposes. Uh, there was another thing I was going to do. What was it? It was going to be... Oh, going to make some shelves. And... I'm sorry, I was just thinking about this. Hang on a sec. I remember now. All our stations. So, yeah. Let's go to the crafting here. And let's uh, first start off with the loom. Oh, we can place it inside. Cool. Uh, where should we put it then? Maybe we should put everything up here. In the bedroom, I guess. Alright, let's put the loom here. Okay, let's, uh, are these empty? Yeah, they are. Let's get those out of the way. What's next? Next we have, we have the tanning rack. Day 57. Uh, four sticks, four lashings. Okay, I should have some more lashings in here. Uh, let's take them all. It's not like I can't make any more. Sticks, on the other hand, though, we'll have to go pay a visit to another island. But let's go up here. Let's get the, the tanning rack up in here. And where is that? Uh, it's going to be over here. Now, this will actually come in handy because we do have bats around. And if we can, uh, you know, I can get really good with the spear. We can get meat and leather every night. Which will come in handy. Now, what else do we have? 
I got some more potatoes cooking, by the way. So that's going to give us three jerry cans full of fuel. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this. Uh, yes, let's build a campfire inside the house. Sounds perfect. That's one thing I've never actually made was a hobo stove, ever. Yeah, still kind of iffy about the plank station. It's going to be a little expensive. I don't have any logs anyway, so... Uh, that will have to be outside, but I think this might be a good place. Almost a good place to call it. I think I still have a few more things. We can throw a few more shelves up in here. Like the furniture and wood shelf. Let's put uh, let's put one up on this wall here. And we'll put up another one if I can afford it. Oh yeah, furniture. Need more lashings. Let me go grab some more lashings and more sticks. Okay, I got the very last of my sticks and I have some lashings. So let's see what we can put down here. Let's uh try to get something else up here. Maybe a shelf right here actually would be a good sp good place to go. We'll find something to put on top of there. Maybe Waller can come up here. And I'm out of sticks. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. All I can do. I don't think I have any more sticks laying around. I am broke. And those young palms haven't grown back either. Hmm. Mind you, did a lot of building today. Definitely did a lot of building. You know, realistically, you only need like a little 2x2 two two one level house, but that's my little shack, right? But you know what, though? At least we'll be able to see it when we go off into the distance, go off to that island or that island or over there. At least when we're there, we can say, hey, I can see my house from here. And then we'll know where we gotta go. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.